When working with text in a website, you occasionally come across the need to insert a character or symbol that isn't on your keyboard. In this lesson, I'll show you how to insert such characters in Dreamweaver. I'll also explain how to deal with languages such as French and German that use accented characters. One of the most common symbols that you need in a website is the copyright symbol. To insert it, go to the Insert menu, Character, and copyright. That inserts a copyright symbol in design view and in the underlying code Dreamweaver inserts what's known as an HTML entity. This is a short piece of code that tells the browser what to display. HTML entities always begin with an ampersand and end with a semicolon and usually the letters in between are an abbreviation of the name, so in this case it's copy for copyright. Incidentally, if you've used the previous version of Dreamweaver and you're used to using the insert panel or the insert bar to insert special characters, they're still there but they've moved. Let's just go to the insert panel and we need to open that little menu and you can see that the text category has now disappeared. That's where the special characters used to be. They've moved to the common category and right down at the bottom there are the special characters. So you just open that little menu, there is the copyright symbol down there. Sometimes characters that are on your keyboard will be replaced by an HTML entity. For example, if you use an ampersand, it should be obvious that the ampersand needs to be replaced by an HTML entity because it's the beginning of an HTML entity always. So you've got ampersand AMP semicolon for an ampersand. Not all special characters are represented by HTML entities. Some use numeric values, which are technically known as numeric entities. Let's try inserting a left quote using the insert panel. So let's open that little sub menu and we'll look for left quote. Insert that and you can see there is a left opening quote here, a double quote in design view, but in the underlying code we've now got ampersand hash 8220 and a semicolon. Notice that Dreamweaver leaves the left quote character selected in the insert panel. When you have one of these little submenus, anything that you choose, Dreamweaver remembers your most recent choice for the next time. This submenu displays the most frequently used HTML entities, but at the bottom you've got other characters. Select that and it opens this dialog box which gives you a much wider choice. You'll notice that this dialog box contains a lot of accented characters such as are used in many European languages. So does that mean that you've got to use this dialog box if you're working in, say, French or German? Well, the answer is maybe. Usually the answer is no. I'm just going to click Cancel and then I'll start writing something which requires an accented character. Now, I've got several choices here. One of them is to use that other characters, which is also available on the insert menu. Let's go to other at the bottom. It, that opens it and we want an acute E. Select that and then click OK. And it gives me an acute E, but it gives me this rather ugly HTML entity underneath, but it works fine in a browser. But let's say that you've got a French keyboard or that you know the keyboard shortcut for an E-acute, you can type it directly. And notice this time that I've got the E-acute in design view and also in code view. As long as your page encoding is set to UTF-8, this will work. You need to use HTML entities for accented characters only if they're not available on your keyboard. If you're creating a site that uses only a few expressions in a language that uses accented characters, using HTML entities is fine. Otherwise, use Unicode UTF encoding and type in directly from the keyboard. For other special characters, such as the copyright and common currency symbols, use the Insert menu or the Common category of the Insert panel.